Good afternoon, Alberta. Yes, sir. So we're here at the University of Maryland. Uh, President Bell just met with us. Mm -hmm. And we met uh, Jason, Joel, actually, who is with... Joel, what department are you with? The Department of Technology. Okay. Joel, let's go to the uh, solar vehicle that we donated today. Yes, sir. You want to go maybe take a seat in it? Sure, sure. I'll sit right here. You said something to me that was very powerful, and that was the power of technology education. Tell me about your relationship to technology education and the role of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore in technology education in state. Well, the role of technology education in Maryland is to develop teachers that are able and uh, efficient at communicating and teaching these technology, the core technologies in to their high school and middle school level. And also we have now on the college level as well. But one of the core things is we've noticed is that in technology education and even on the higher education level is that there is a misunderstanding about technology education. And we have all these programs for teaching engineering, masonry, woodworking, and human resources, they have uh, nursing. All these are great career and technology education programs. But what defines creating technology education? Educators, how do you, how do you define what an educator is and how to teach technology education? And one of the things that is lacking is technology educators. How do we know, uh, how do we present technology to our students? How do so, we teach them? And that's a very important sort of um, point to make in light of the disaster I talked to you about on Dominica, my island of birth, which was this, you know, devastated on August 27th by this uh, tropical storm where a lot of the roads were flooded out, a lot of the bridges swept away. How valuable do you think would be a partnership with the University of Maryland Eastern Shore and rebuild Dominica to kind of get the island, not to just rebuild in the old way, but using the best scientific methods and using the best technology education? Well, I think it begins on the grade school level and to incorporate those in Dominica especially, these uh, individuals that are going to be help create uh, a, new, a new building structures uh, technology on Dominica, it needs to start on the fundamental level. And when I say the fundamental level, I'm talking about we need to create problem solvers, critical thinking, technology education programs that stimulate critical thinking and problem solving skills at the early age. We tend to wait to teach them critical thinking and problem solving until they get into a specific career path, which should have started all our curriculum, education curriculum should have started on a fundamental level. So by the time students are college ready or job ready, they already have developed those critical thinking skills that normally most um, universities or high school level student graduates have not fully developed yet until college level. So uh, Joel uh, Tomlinson, University of Maryland Eastern Shore, technology educator and scientist, would you be willing to work with us uh, on, on Rebuild Dominica because we can try to create or craft a curriculum not only for Dominica but other emerging countries in the Caribbean? Um, of course, 100%. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Christian, is there anything you'd like to say about uh, this fine gentleman who gave us a wonderful uh, presentation on technology education? You know, usually uh, I look at these things as a vision. You met this gentleman, you have spoken to you, and this, I think, can bring you very far. There are many places like Dominica that is just, to me, like you put a root down in this soil and it grows and blows and gives you what you were looking for. I can assure you, I have did it. it well, I don't have to go to it's long distance, but it's just like putting a pea in the soil. It grows and gives you so much. Thank you so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm listening.